Minneapolis. And Janelle, Locke's family has some sharp criticism of the police department and protesters are taking to the streets. How are police handling this situation? Well, Ruta Bay, police haven't said much lately. They were largely absent from the protest today. Uh, the police union here in Minneapolis releasing a statement saying that no conclusions should be made prior to the end of the investigation into this shooting, but still it's creating lots of tensions here in the city. Hundreds of people filling the streets here in downtown Minneapolis tonight to protest. What you see behind me are the last remaining stragglers from that protest earlier today. Despite sub-freezing temperatures, protests erupting in Minneapolis. Demonstrators demanding police accountability and transparency in the investigation of the shooting death of Amir Locke, a black man gunned down early Wednesday morning during a no-knock raid carried out by Minneapolis police. When you do say something, just tell the truth. In a 14-second body cam snippet released by the department, you see SWAT officers quietly use a key to enter a downtown apartment. Then burst in yelling. They approach a couch where Locke appears to be asleep under a blanket. He's startled awake, and there's a split second flash of a gun in the 22 year old's hand. Then, gunfire. Authorities now identifying Mark Hanneman as the officer who shot the fatal blows. I want the police officer that murdered my son yes. to be prosecuted yes. and yes. fired. Hanneman's currently on administrative leave. Records show he's been on the force since 2015 and has had at least three complaints, all closed with no disciplinary action. Further complicating things, Minneapolis police confirmed Locke was not named in the warrant and have released few details about the circumstances of the homicide investigation in neighboring St. Paul it's connected to, saying it's been sealed to uphold the integrity of the investigation. Locke's family says he was a licensed gun owner and had no criminal history. All details rekindling tensions in a community where law enforcement's relationship with the public is already strained. And protesters are also upset about the description that Minneapolis's interim police chief has had of what's seen in that video, namely that Locke pointed that gun at officers before they shot him. And today, Locke's father here at the protest calling for 22 days of peace because his son was 22 years old and killed on 2-2, Rodu Bay. Janelle Fort for us in Minneapolis. Thank you. And joining us tonight, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.